I haven't got a first look for you this morning at a Marvel favorite that's coming up in a second. First up, though, a 90s action franchise returns in my Wednesday home video report. What if I told you everything you know about your dad is a lie? Four new series this week. The National Treasure franchise returns with National Treasure Edge of History. Catherine Zeta-Jones, Justin Bartha, and Harvey Keitel co-star see it on Disney Plus now. On Hulu, Kindred follows an aspiring writer who finds herself traveling back and forth through history. You can see that now. And on Netflix, a young lawyer gets a crash course in cloak and dagger in the CIA. See The Recruit on Netflix on Friday. Let's just call it quits. We won't call it quits. We call it the start. For new movies, The Banshees of Inishirin, getting a lot of attention as one of the best of 2022. Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson co star. It is streaming on HBO Max now. Oscar winning director Alejandro Inaretu presents the introspective drama Bardo, false chronicle of a handful of truths about a Mexican filmmaker in an existential crisis. See it on Netflix starting Friday. Also, Friday on Amazon Prime. There's the thriller Nanny about an African immigrant haunted by the past that threatens to ruin her new life in America. I believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> For holiday offerings, a grinchy professional woman falls for a man a little too into Christmas in the Netflix romantic comedy, I Believe in Santa. The improvised comedy, Murderville, returns with a holiday special, Who Killed Santa? Starring Will Arnett and Jason Bateman. The holiday cooking competition, Baking It, returns for season two with SNL veterans, Maya Rudolph and Amy Poehler, seen on Peacock now. I've always felt as though this was a fight worth fighting for. For documentaries, if you can't get enough of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, part two of the docuseries, Harry and Meghan, drops on Netflix starting tomorrow. Starting Friday on Disney+, Plus, take a deep dive into the history of the world-famous Abbey Road Recording Studio in the new documentary, If These Walls Could Sing. You can see more by scanning the QR code with your smartphones, and that'll take you right to a link for my current and past movie reviews and home video picks.